Welcome back to the show. I'm Alfonso Quadra, HighImpactMedia.com. It's High Impact Media TV, and we are talking to entrepreneurs. And today we have somebody very special, Sean McCoy, at Peritivo, the gluten-free restaurant of the city, right? Uh, I'd like to think that's what we're aiming towards, yeah. So we're sitting here in the beautiful patio here in the beautiful uh, downtown Canada. And so how did you how did you get how did you get started on a on a gluten-free uh, wow. journey? Well, it didn't start out that way, to be honest. Um, working, I'd worked in the industry throughout school, and leaving school, I had gone on this career path that it was a comfortable career path. Um, but I realized I was in trouble when I left one high tech company to go to another. And I looked around, I had a fantastic boss, great co workers, but I hated going to work every day. So, with the support of my wife, you know, we we come to this realization we needed to change and I needed to change personally. So it happened to come up at the same time that the previous location or the previous restaurant here uh, was forced to close its doors. So, and, that, and that's rare because I mean this this place is always busy, so you, you would never find an empty spot in this in this uh, business park. That's it. it. It's packed. I mean, we have 18 restaurants here in this area, uh, movie theater right across the way. So it, it's definitely a busy area, and it was something. It was an opportunity that I know we couldn't turn away from, and uh, so we got on board with uh, acquiring the restaurant. And we started out, I just wanted a menu that was gonna be 75% of the way accessible for someone with a gluten allergy, my wife suffering from celiac disease. And what happened was three menus later, we're, we're running at about 95% or 99.5% gluten free. And it's just food done naturally. We don't try and substitute things. Now there's, there's definitely, you must be aware of this craze. I mean, everybody's turning to gluten free. So were you aware of that or, or was it just a, a decision you made and it just happened to be you happened to be on that wave? Well, yeah, I think, I mean, I realize it is a craze for some. That wasn't at all a factor in our decision to go this way. I just wanted food done naturally. You look at a lot of restaurants and what they'll do is they'll add things like flour to sauces to make them thicker. They'll cut corners by doing that. They'll bring in frozen foods that they don't necessarily know all the ingredients on. So because we do everything locally, because we do everything fresh, we know what's going into each dish. So it's easy for us to eliminate the things that will cause some sensitivity. So we're we're fantastic with nut allergies, dairy allergies, a gluten allergy, because we know what goes into every single ingredient. Um, but we didn't start out that way. It was, you know, I just wanted options for my wife. I wanted her to go to a spot and she could eat and choose a few things. A lot of other restaurants will say, yes, we're gluten free, but if you go in and look at their menu, it's, it's unfortunate because they'll say, you can have this steak, but it's not seasoned. And you can't have any of the sides that normally come so with it. You can have a salad or maybe well, the fries. Home, right? That's it. <laughs> so we wanted something that was gonna do great food. Um, and different food. You're not going to get our style of food anywhere other than, you know, Westboro and downtown. So it was a way to elevate food tastes, but at the same time keeping true to the natural state of food. Um, and by that, we kind of achieved the gluten-free side. It came and, along with it. And now you, you are Ottawa's prime gluten-free restaurant, hands down. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm not gonna. I don't want to say that. You know, it's it's something we're we're always striving to be better. Uh, you have to in business, but it's something that you know we're proud of what we've become as a restaurant, and uh, I'm looking forward to where we're gonna go. We've had four menus since we've opened now, and uh, only more to come. So it's great. So for for this is a, uh, you know a lot of our audience are entrepreneurs, people that are aspiring to do uh, maybe not the same business, but. Any business. Yeah. So, what are what's a, some tips that you can offer for people that are listening to listening to you right now, and they just you know they have an idea, you know their wife, you know maybe only eats certain, and then it's like I want to start a business or anything. Do you have anything to offer? A tip or? It's never too late to change. The biggest suggestion I can make is that it is never too late, no matter what age group you're at, to make a change. Um, I myself was caught in a position that was comfortable and you know what, when you decide to make that jump, it's terrifying because you don't know what's going to be around the turn. You don't know what that road brings, but if you have that inner desire and passion to do something, to make a change, 
it's never too late to try. It, it's all about being happy in life. Life's way too short to go around doing something that, yeah, you know what, you may get paid okay, but if you're not happy doing it, you're gonna be miserable in yeah. life. So um, the biggest thing is is find that inner happiness in anything you do and inner chase happiness. that. Find the inner happiness and don't be afraid to change. So you're gonna show us some food? Absolutely, let's go check it let's out. Let's go have a look. Hey guys, welcome back to I Am Quebec Media. We're at uh, Aperitivo down in Canada. We just spoke to Sean McCoy, the owner of Aperitivo. And now we're uh, here with the head chef, Steve. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. We're really excited to uh, see what you're going to be making for us here. Uh, but, but before we get into that, uh, let's talk about how you prepare your foods. Because it is a gluten-free uh, restaurant where I mean, there's not too many out there in the city. And from, from what I've been told by a lot of local business owners here, that you guys are the number one gluten-free restaurant. Oh, fantastic. So what, what, what does it take to prepare gluten-free? I, mean, uh, I know you guys don't have any food prepared and then serve it like some other restaurants right. do. We don't bring anything in frozen. We, uh, we pride ourselves on being a scratch kitchen. Everything's made from scratch. We, uh, we know who our local suppliers are. We, we love to get our produce from up the street. We know most of our protein suppliers, uh, and they're all local too. So it helps the community. It helps uh, it helps us know what's going on the plate. We can take more pride in what's going on the plate. Um, yeah. Uh, as far as the gluten-free aspect, it's, uh, it was brought to us as a challenge. We didn't originally set out to be, okay, let's be 100% gluten-free. It was set out as, what can we do? What can we do gluten-free? Uh, and as we snowballed the first and second and third menus, uh, it just became easier to keep pushing flour and, or wheat flour out of the menu. Right. And uh, things became, it started off as a big challenge. I'm not gluten free or, or live that, that way. Um, so it was a big learning experience for me. And I really enjoy that. I, I like a challenge. I like being able to push myself, push the staff. Uh, and we're very happy with the way things have, have blossomed into what they are. And what's your background? I know you, you went to culinary school and you've done some big things in, in, in your past as well. Yeah. What, what was, uh, well, I went to school to travel, really. I went to, I, everyone needs to eat, so I thought I could be a cook and it would be super simple. I could go anywhere I want and get a job. And, and it, it did work out that way. I was able to travel through most of my 20s to uh, uh, Australia, Southeast Asia, as well as across Canada a couple times. And, and uh, I ended up here in Ottawa and, and didn't actually think that, okay, I'll, I'll be a cook forever. I, I thought it was going to be uh, something that I, I just did for now. Right. Uh, but every time I try to step out of it and uh, I've tried some other things, I, I have to get back into it. Uh, it's, it's there's something, yeah. There, yeah, there's an art to it, there's a passion to it, and I, I really enjoy it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, you're going to be cooking for us today? Yeah, today we're going to do salmon grab -lack. So I've got some cured salmon there. That's actually, uh, so we rub it with beet juice and some dill and some other things. And we let it cure for three days. And we serve it on these little zucchini fritters, which I'll just pull up and do it all for. Just go ahead with it, keep it rolling. So I noticed that you got to, when you did the roll, that little pretty little design there uh, is a uh, pickle. Yes, it is. It's actually a curried pickle, so I, it plays really nicely off of the beet salmon and the zucchini fritter. A little turmeric oil, a little uh, creme fraiche. You should care for a bite. Looks awesome, and I will take a bite. <laughs> I'll join you. So cheers on this one. Good luck. A pair of table. Uh, so, can you tell everybody how we can find you online or Yeah, you can find you? us at uh, aperitivo.ca or look us up on Facebook at Aperitivo Canada. Uh, give us a shout, 592-0004, make a reso. This is awesome. So there you go. I'm CEO of a company called High Impact Media, which is a media company. And basically the idea is that when an entrepreneur starts in business, what most people are not aware of is that they spend a lot of time and money 
going to a lot of different places you know they got this guy that's going to do their web this guy's going to do their seo this guy's going to do this print he's going to get his car uh, car wrap in one place so basically high impact media we put everything under one roof your video production your your uh, your website production your your print media you know any even leads and networking everything that you an entrepreneur is going to need to get started all under one roof including brand strategies and <clears throat> pretty much anything you're going to need as an entrepreneur you can come to high impact media and we like to uh, have we have a little tag tagline that says uh, it's the disney world for entrepreneurs